half a mile out. The exact coordinates Shelley gave us are just down there. We come into episode nine, um, and the Doctor and Graham Ryan Yaz, they have to stop the lone Cyberman that they haven't quite defeated in episode eight. They have to uh, find it and stop it in its tracks, otherwise it will rebuild the Cyber Empire. Any ideas what we're walking into? This planet, this time period, we're in the very far future, immediate aftermath of the Cyber War. We have arrived at what we predict is the last remaining human settlement. Who are you? Where'd you come from? Doctor, Graham, Ryan and Yaz. Don't worry about where we're from. Concentrate on how we can help. So we discover that their ammunition stores are low. They're battling a broken escape ship, you know, and, and they're, they're as fearful and as aware of the devastation that the Cybermen can cause as, as much as we are. We're just refugees. And we've all lost everything and everyone. All to the Cybermen. We've come fully equipped because we're kind of aware of what we're walking into. What is that thing? Particle projector. The doctor's customised it to project particles of gold into the air. Cybermen are allergic to gold, right? I did hear that once. We get our equipment out and it, it, we, we know what we're doing, so we've obviously practised. She's obviously taught us, so you just like, yeah, tripod up, this wire goes there, this wire goes there. Bish. Bash. Bosh. We've got this. We've got the doctor with us. We've now got, like, these refugees that have, like, going to help us. Cyber drones. Because no sooner have they arrived than an attack starts on the camp. They're targeting the defences! Let's go! Today has been a really exciting day of Doctor Who. I live to work for days like today, so lots of explosions. So a lot of the effects you see in that scene are in camera, but that takes a huge amount of coordination, of timing from the actors, from the director, from the cameraman. You know, you don't get too many goes at this stuff. There are lots of close proximity bangs against, well, around all the main cast today. So working really, really closely with them to block their action. So that means working with them to, to work out their movement and then trying to make it look as scary as possible. It's, it's a pretty cool day today. Watching Bradley's face today, he really excited and really loved it today. This episode by a country mile is my favourite. He's a little kid in a toy shop when there's stunts and, you know, explosives and, and, and watching the stunt performers, you know, do their bit, he loves it all. And so then he, he, he did his own, which was, I mean, he's no Tom Cruise, <laughs> let's just say. It was great. It was like making a real sort of blockbuster movie for me and it was thrilling. And I had the time of my life making it that day. Everyone has a moment where they want to do something really action-packed, and I think everyone had a had a taste for it, everyone had a feel for it. So the fact that we all had like separate bits to do by ourselves, and you know, everyone had little stunts to do and stuff like that. So yeah, it was fun for me anyway. And I did my own stunt, and by my own stunt, I ran and ran and skidded. <laughs> <laughs> They wanted me to ease myself over. I said, I'm not doing that. I said, I'm not easing myself anyway. I'm going for it. I'm diving on that mat. I'm diving over that thing onto that mat. Are you sure? What? I'm 59, not 159. What's the matter with you? Crikey, I can do that. They didn't want me to do it. They was like, your jeans are going to get dirty. And I was like, look, look, if Tosin's done that roll over that thing and Brad's fallen backwards, I have to do something. So we need a new pair of jeans because I'm about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Take one, take one. A mark. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. Join. <laughs>